Hey Sagittarius, starting a little later today because it is Saturday and you know we do focus on things. I actually spent the morning being pretty generous. So I don't know if generosity is like uh, the focal point here, Sagittarius. Look, I got a new bracelet. <laughs> yeah, so that being said, I hope all is well. And Saturday is when we do a spiritual reading or a few. Definitely probably a few, Sagittarius. So if this is for you, it's for you. If it's not for you, it's not for you. It's that simple. If you're looking for personal readings, please check out the link in my description. I am going to be running a special in May. I just haven't decided on it yet. <laughs> you know, Sag. So, basically, I'm doing something I saw online. And that is about, this is really for finding out where you're at on the Fool's Journey. Um, which, the Fool's Journey is the... The, the major arcana in the tarot. It's our spiritual journey. But I feel like this is really talking about connection for you, Sag. But yeah, because that's the way it's looking. Okay. It's really interesting too because it, it does feel as if you are in this kind of um, page energy. Which in this case is very nice. Like because that's like a beginner mind kind of thing, right? Wowza. <laughs> Sagittarius, I love this for you because you like literally show up in all page energy. So this so on some level, it's like starting over, you know, and I love that. <laughs> I do. So, you know, underneath the deck was the seven of pentacles, the lovers. Okay. Which is always about a decision. And the Page of Pentacles. And I feel like, I feel like the way that you're connecting and manifesting connection is different. Okay, so let's get into it. Seven of Pentacles is where we kind of sit and think, right? It's stagnation, but it's also um, where we're thinking about our next move or what, where we're thinking about all that we've achieved and where do we go next? It's actually an in-between energy for me that is very, very nice. And with the lovers, it's definitely about connection, I feel. Now, often the lovers is just, you know, a solid decision. And definitely when it comes to connection, you're, you're making decisions that way. And you're focused on Page of Pentacles. Like, there's, there's a big energy here about learning and having learned lessons and how that is affecting how you connect and how you make decisions going forward and you know can also be about communication but it, it kind of says you know you've learned lessons here and you're making decisions on on connection based on what you've learned and so there is you know sometimes People can talk about Sagittarius being naive, and, and I think that we are to some extent, but that's because we would rather believe the good. Yeah. So, you know, we look at, you know, what's in front of the fool and what's in back of the fool, and that is what's in back of you is the struggle to keep your heart open, to be honest, the struggle to be to put yourself out there, to be vulnerable with people, um, to express your feelings even, you know, to just keep an open heart with everything that you've been through in the past. And that would, that would definitely, this is happening this year. Okay. We're in an eight year, Sag. We're in an eight year and this is the strength card, right? And so, yeah, I mean, it, for a lot of people, you know, even if you haven't been struggling to to get over a relationship, we all kind of, um, sometimes the things that we've been through can actually affect the way that we interact with people in the present. And so I feel like for you, Saj, you know, 
it's been a struggle to keep your heart open. It's, it, it is a struggle to be vulnerable, right? And for some, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. There are some people here who are struggling to be open to new people because they have had a hard time either letting go of what happened to you in the past or even keeping a door open for a past person. Because I really, really felt the fear here about if I pursue new relationships and I open my heart to new people, um, that whoever it is you want to come back won't be able to. But that's never true. I mean, it, it's never true. You know, <laughs> it, it's whatever is for you is for you. It, it will come back if it's meant to come back. And I know some people struggle with that thinking, but you know, no, but so there's been a struggle to stay open to new connections, especially if you've had a painful past in, in relationships, you know, and I, I do feel something in regards to what's happening here. Um, and I do feel that you don't want to be foolish. You don't want to be naive. You know, that that's one thing about the past that you want to, you know, leave at the table. And so maybe, you know, maybe you haven't been open to new people, right? May it, and, and that may be that you've had a hard time leaving things behind. And, you know, that's not really Sagittarius. We, we definitely move on, but, you know, it's just, it's very normal to deal with those things you know but that's behind you now Sag that's behind you if anything kind of stalls um connection for you it's the whole and I and I've seen it in Sagittarius for the last year because we do have impulsive natures which sometimes gets us into trouble you know we have this tendency to jump in and we and we've really been trying not to do that we've really been trying to sit in the moment to deal with what's in front of us and you know sometimes though when you're trying so hard not to do something you kind of go too far with it because life involves risk Saj <laughs> it does it does and with the nine of swords and the empress reverse it's just like you might be afraid to take chances on new people or, or new connections um, because of the times that you gave your power away and you, you're afraid that you'll do it again or that it'll happen again or that the growth that you've attained, the peace that you've attained with the Empress will be taken away, you know, but no one can take your power away, Saj, unless you hand it over and maybe that's it. Maybe you're afraid that you'll give it over again, you know, there's that, <laughs> there's that, but the truth is, is this is leading you towards manifestation, okay, the magician takes all, everything, like everything they've learned, everything they continue to learn, you know, it, and makes it all work, and this is where, as you are manifesting new connection, you're, you're doing it differently, okay? You're you're not jumping in, Saj. You're not jumping in. You're building a new foundation here, right? And the way you're manifesting, you're still manifesting, but what you realize is that it's a, it's okay to kind of stand back a little bit and and receive the information because there's something really strong here about learning. You know, maybe it's you don't like jump in it with people until you really, really know them, right? So much page energy. So you're definitely, this feels like a starting fresh kind of thing. Page of Wands on the bottom with the moon, the sun, and the Knight of Wands. Sagittarius, I love this because there's a usefulness too, where you're regaining your adventure spirit, right? The page of wands, you know what? They are kind of impulsive and they do jump in. 
Um, but with the moon being here, you're not going to jump in like you're jumping in smart. So you're not going to jump in and not know where you're landing. <laughs> That's what it's saying. But, and, and just you want to be happy. And you know in order to be happy, you need to experience things. Especially p passion. That is what drives Sagittarius. The Magician, the Devil, the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Cups, which really is, is going to land you in deeper connections quicker than you think, because you've actually mastered this, this Devil energy, you know, the things you've been tied to, the things that have held you back. Um... You with the magician, it's like you you figure it out. You you've taken the L's here, Sag. Then we're seeing strength again with the Three of Pentacles. Now this strength card, I gotta okay, gotta cover her up. <laughs> strength card is especially in this card. I feel like you're really not letting things hold you back from passion, right? But you're making it make sense. You're only connecting with people who actually see the passion in you and like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Letting go of things, specifically uh, Sagittarius, if you've been afraid that you won't show up as your total self in relationships going forward, and that clearly is what you're afraid of. And that would be where you have like held back your true self, not been your full self. Because sometimes we feel like we're too much for people because people tell us we're too much, right? You're not doing that anymore. And you're really seeing that like the, the norm, okay, the hierophant represents the patriarchy and, and traditional ideas that had to go. Because it's not you. Okay? It's not you. And uh, did that have you losing love in some ways? Yeah. And, and maybe even connection. But the truth is, is that wherever we can't be our full self, we don't belong. We don't belong, Sag. And yeah, wowza. Six of Pentacles on the top. With the two of pentacles, ooh, ace of swords, you are really um, finding balance within yourself. Um, and being honest with yourself about the need to move forward. Okay? <laughs> Judgment is there. The need to move forward, making the decision to move forward. And you're, and you're doing it there's so much balance within you. And I feel like also being honest that you, you, you can't fracture yourself or your energy. Like you can't, you, you can't be moving forward and still have a foot in the past, right? Because you are making decisions here. Eight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. And I feel like this is something that some of you are realizing that you can't wait for, you can't wait for someone or people who, who can't do it, who can't, you know, it's like they take so long or they make promises um, that they, that just never happen. And, you know, I feel like you're just done doing that. And I know how this is going to have some people who are waiting for something from the past thinking. But the truth is, is that even it's always possible to like um, reconcile with people. But we can't do that just sitting waiting for them. We have to always be living our best life, Saj. Living our best life. And this is bringing in new connections for you. 
new connections where you don't have to water yourself down. So let's take a look real quick at the future energy. The future energy for Sagittarius. Let's get all the cards. What does this mean for the future for Sagittarius? And don't let anything hold you back, Sag. Future energy, okay. Four of Swords. Future. Future energy. So you've been really, um, oh wow, okay. The future energy is that you're really going to start putting effort in and stop holding back, stop focusing on, you know, things that have disappointed you and start focusing on the opportunities to connect. The upper, and you may really see this as I think there's a Venus and Jupiter moving into Gemini, but I'm not totally sure, Sag, so... Don't quote me on it, <laughs> but I love this. I love this, Sag. So let's see what your spirit guides have to say. What does Sagittarius' spirit guides have to say? I can see that you, you know, you may even be, it's like useful energy too. I love this. Sagittarius. What do you want to say to Sag? What do you want to say to Sagittarius? A lot of things to say, Sag. Just ask. <clears throat> if you need help or guidance, ask your spirit guides. Ooh, they're trying to tell you something in your dreams. There's an answer to something in your dreams. Right. And what they're trying to tell you is that you don't need to be afraid, Sad. You are learning from your past experiences, the experiences of your ancestors. And, and that is like you're really listening to understand now. And that might be, you know, what they're telling you. You have to be willing to listen if you want to understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener, to listen fully and intently with the means to pay attention, not just to what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. And I do feel that, especially with the Page of Swords, you, you're really getting to know people on a, on a deeper level. You know, I love this. And they've been sending you nudges, especially in terms of being positive about future things, about new things. And, and not to ignore, it, there's definitely a lot here about receiving as well. It's like be open to receiving the care that you give to others. Okay, Saj. Sounds super good. Let's finish this off with a mindful message. What does Sagittarius need to keep in mind? I think this could also be your cue that new people are coming. What does Sagittarius need to keep in mind? Ooh. A lot about love. 
about creating a loving space. I surround myself with people who inspire me and grow together with me. My friends raise me up and hold me to the best that I can be. This is like telling you to surround yourself with people who love you. It will create, it will make you believe more in love and create a space for love to come into your journey. Wow. Okay, Sag. <laughs> so that's what I have for you. I hope it really helps. Toodles.